Fans of Nollywood actress Inola Badmords have stormed her comment section with queries following her latest post. Moving on, Nollywood actor Yoli Doche and his second wife Judy Oxen have stirred reactions from their colleague following a video of them arguing. If you want to get the full gist, just sit tight and watch to the end. But before I comment fully on the gist, welcome to Orange TV, a platform where we keep you updated and informed on trading latest gist happening on social media. If you have not already, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to like, share, turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we drop a new video. To all our amazing subscribers, massive love from us to you guys. Thank you so much for always staying tuned. And for all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy and stay tuned. Fans of Nollywood actress Inola Badmers stormed her comment section with queries following her latest post. She was a proud supporter of Bola Ahmed Tunubu during the election. She has created Steer Online following the photos of her in a luxury office that she shared on the internet. She accompanied the photo with a powerful word on how Mondays are for go-getters. She thereby advised her fans to make a change. Taking from her comment section, many have questioned if the movie star had gotten a new office courtesy of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. So many questions were flying on her comment section regarding her post. Questions like, Nabuja you did stay, ah, we go like know the position of your office or, and we go like know the name of your office because it is impressive. Keep it up. But we would like you to answer the question, sir. The position that was assigned to you in your office. And moreover, that is what she has been longing for ever since. Just days back, Inyola Badmos expressed gratitude to Sheyi Tunubu, the son of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu, for finding her deserving of an award. The president's son gave her a certificate of appreciation for her effort towards the success of the Renew Hope concert. She shared a photo on her Instagram page, where she expressed gratitude to Sheyi Bola Ahmed Tunubu for the honor, stating that the award goes a long way in her heart as she was remembered for her efforts and a successful delivery of a great event. Big shout out to Sheyi Ahmed Tunubu. Another bad month during inauguration of Bola Ahmed Tunubu, another bad month chaired the entertainment committee of Tunubu's inauguration. A list was made run on the internet showing that Enola Badmores was to chair the entertainment committee. She joined the three others who are huge chairpersons, Tony Abraham, comedian Shayid Law, Saeed Balogu, Y Chudike and Lawa Olekanko were members. During the election, Enola Badmores had unashamed declared love for Bola Ahmed Tunubu. I mean heavy backlash she got on the internet. Despite that, she pressed on, on her support on Bola Ahmed Tunubu. The star became one of the most hated celebrities in Nigeria, but that didn't bother her as she remained unruffled by their trolling. She didn't give a dime of anything netizen has been saying online. She pressed on her support on Bola Ahmed Tunubu. And now, a new office has been given to her. God no go shamers. So guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Moving on, Odogu don't turn to Odiogu, Uche Jumbo, Polo Okoye and others react to video of Yole Doche and Judy Oxen in a heated argument. The only would act to Yole Doche and his second wife, Judy Oxen, stirred reaction from their colleagues following a video of them arguing. The video was shared on Sunday by Yole Doche on his Facebook page following the arguments with Judy Oxen over her addiction to her phone. The video that was posted, Judy Austin was seen recording the conversation she was having with Yole Doche while Yole Doche reprimanded her for not paying attention to him. The argument was because of Judy Austin, where she was supporting a friend of Yole Doche who damaged Yole Doche's car. According to Yole Doche, he said that he gave his friend one of his cars to travel with but he ended up bashing it and didn't tell him about it. So instead of Judy Austin to support Yole Doche. She was busy pitching tents with his friend, with Yole Doche's friend. That got Yole Doche upset. Yole Doche was pondering why he can't talk to Judy Oxen and she would listen to him. Lamenting on that, he now said that he's getting tired of the whole thing. Hmm, <laughs> wahala. And for the video, he said that he saw the video on Judy Oxen's phone, so he decided to post it. Wow.
Are you sure this is not a marketing strategy to drive traffic to his page for their new movies? How did y'all even get to this stage? Hmm, wahala. Take it from a blog comment section, Uche Jumbo, Paulo Okoye, Uche Lendo and others expressed displeasure at the video, saying that, why all this? This is recorded. Whoever recorded this don't like y'all. And the person is destroying y'all image he built for years. Ugh, we are so sick of this. So you can talk without recording? That is madness. I think there is a reason why he's on Facebook, making that content money. I think it's high time we just stop giving this clan relevance. Or for Facebook, Odogu just turn or Diego. It's just a pity what is really going on now. Just days back, this lover claimed that Yoli Doje has been trapped by Judy Erkstein, who has been trying all means to overthrow Mei Doche. It has been ups and down ever since Mei Doche lost her first son. Judy Erkstein has been the one posting lots of things on social media. A post where she made not even up to two months or even three weeks, Kambule Chuku died. She came online with a posting photos of herself, thanking God for delivering her, thanking God for saving her, for seeing her through during her childbirth and also standing by her when all hope was lost. That wasn't enough for her. She went on to convince Yole Doche to see a prophet in Imo who had a vision about him and the actor paid a visit to the prophet where voodoo was used on him. And Sarah was behind all these things. She was the one advising Judy Oxton. So addressing the allegations, Sarah told the critics and haters to allow the couple to be, stating that they should allow God to judge the couple, who she believes were destined together and made for each other. Noting that she wasn't there the day they met each other nor the day they fell in love but she saw a so tired human and fell in love with the way they, they complement each other so she couldn't help but root for judy oxen and yoli duchess happiness she went ahead to slam this lover for its doctorate information saying that he should keep willing that judy oxen and yoli Duche are going nowhere no leave no transfer moreover the allegation of her advising Judy Austin to go and meet a prophet and for Judy Austin to cast a spell on Yole Doche that they are all fake. Moreover, this lover is fake. Hmm. I can vividly tell you it's deliberate. So they would make people feel they are not in good terms. It is all planned and released on purpose. So guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. And if you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time till I come your way again. And thank you so much for watching. Do stay blessed.